going. I will turn it over to Leah. She'll leave some time at the end so you can ask questions, and she'll also probably put a little plug in um, for those of you interested in getting some work experience, which would be great because you can get credit for it in the class. So, yeah. Awesome. All right. Hi, Leah. My name is Joe. Just introduced me. Sorry for those of you that have heard me talk already. Um, I'll try to be a little different this time. So my title at the UWI Honor Athletic Department is the Director of Event Operations and Fan Engagement. I know it's kind of a mouthful, and I'm still getting used to saying it all, but um, so I'll go into detail what that kind of all means. Um, so my background, I grew up in Whitewater. Um, I played three sports in high school, was always really involved in athletics, and came to a lot of the sporting events here at Whitewater. Um, I went to UW Lacrosse for my undergraduate degree. Um, when I was looking at colleges, I knew I kind of wanted to be involved in athletics, recreation, that type of stuff. So um, UW Lacrosse had a sport management degree, and that's why I chose to go there. Um, at the time, that was one of the only programs in the state, and now, um, luckily, we're adding it here and um, a lot of other places. So that's really exciting. Um, when I was at Lacrosse, I worked at the Recreational Eagle Center when I was there, the rec. Um, so I was involved in all aspects of recreation, kind of office assistant, customer service, intramurals, those type of things. Um, I worked there all four years and I really enjoyed my time there. Um, but after my first year as a freshman at lacrosse, I decided that I wanted to be more involved in intercollegiate athletics. Um, I began volunteering for the athletic department, kind of working some game operations and that type of stuff. And then um, I was lucky enough my senior year to do a 12 credit internship with the athletic department. So I really got immersed in all the different aspects of athletic administration, um, compliance, marketing, event management, um, travel expenses, all those types of different things, which is a really exciting time for me. Um, something that many of you may not know is lacrosse had an NCAA violation while I was there, so that was really cool for me to kind of get, not cool I guess, bad for them, um, but good experience for me to kind of see what goes on behind the scenes and um, how you work through some of those different issues when the athletic departments have them. Um, there I got to do some type of sponsorship stuff and that's kind of how my background became an athletic administration. I really love Division III, um, and that's why I'm back here. So then, upon graduation, I didn't really know what I wanted to do yet. I knew I wanted to be in athletics, but after being at lacrosse and getting the whole experience there, um, I didn't really know what area was kind of my niche. So I decided to go to the University of Minnesota. Um, I worked at Williams Arena in the Sports Pavilion. For those of you that are basketball fans, I worked at the barn. Um, so it was a really awesome experience. A lot of um, the production that I do here, you kind of see at Minnesota, um, where everything kind of looks all nice up front, but then I was going into storage closets where there were huge cockroaches that were like this big. So sorry, that's kind of a side note. Um, but that was a really cool experience. I was an intern there and started working on my graduate degree in athletic administration. Um, after my first year, I had it mapped out to be done in a year and a half, and then um, here I am finishing my degree four years later, so um, things always, don't always work out, but I'm lucky enough to be at Whitewater now. So I went um, home for the summer, I worked some camps here for the athletic department, and then was ready to move back to Minnesota. I had kind of a hodgepodge um, responsibilities lined up since I was only going to be there a semester. I was going to work um, with Gopher football, some of the basketball areas there, um, and then with the Minnesota Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. And then um, Leah Thine, who was here before me, who was in charge of marketing and event management, um, left about a week before school started. So I came here and started as a marketing coordinator, I think two days before our first home football game. So that I got thrown right into um, at the athletic department at Whitewater, and it's been a really great experience here. So I was the marketing coordinator for a year, and then um, as an interim position. And then a year later, I applied for the event management position. So I was the athletic event coordinator last year, and um, then we lost our marketing position for this year, so now I'm back kind of doing some more marketing stuff and event management stuff. Um, while I was at Minnesota, I volunteered with the Minnesota Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, so for those of you that are Division three people at schools like St. Thomas, St. John's, Bennett, or St. Ben's, all those types of schools, so that I got a lot of um, great experience doing some athletic administration, running championship events, and that type of stuff. Um, and then, so here it's kind of transitioned well since we host a lot of different championship events. Um, since at lacrosse, they didn't really host any. Um, and that's a whole other type of event operations that I'll kind of get into later in the presentation. 
Um, so I guess to go back to my position now, I do a lot of the different fan engagement stuff as a side of marketing, and then the other half of the marketing for the department is with our athletic communications. Um, that's all the social media, um, any type of communication, so posters, website, all that type of stuff is still in athletic communications. Um, so my job, when I explain it to people, because I have so many different responsibilities, I kind of explain it as I do everything that surrounds events. So the whole production of events, and all the presentation that all the fans and spectators and visiting teams see up front. Um, so for the event operations, um, what I really do is coordinate all the logistics that go into hosting an event on campus um, at UW-Whitewater. So a lot of the stuff I do are equipment set up and take down. Um, I work a lot with the facilities director and making sure that all of our scoreboards and video boards are running correctly, making sure that our chairs are being set up, all the little things like that that go into an event. Um, when people like you come and see the events, that stuff is already kind of done. So I do a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that way. Um, I do all of the greeting of uh, visiting teams and officials. So my week, I'll kind of go into a daily example of what I do, but a lot of my week is spent um, prepping for that type of stuff. So making sure that the visiting teams know what door to come in, know where they go when they get here and that type of stuff. And then I'm kind of the person that will welcome them when they do get on campus. Um, I oversee student employment, so I have about 40 student employees right now in event management and five in marketing. Um, so it's a lot to oversee. I'll go into how that all works um, in a little bit, but that's one of my big responsibilities on a daily basis is working with student employees. Um, I do all this scripting for events, so for us we're lucky enough to have a couple of video boards. So I do um, the PA announcer, obviously that's the most important part of the script, and then the music. Um, so for basketball specifically, working with the pep band and the DJ has been kind of a fun transition last year. Um, and then doing all of the video board stuff, um, graphics, all the side stuff that gets thrown in the script as well so everyone's on the same page. Um, event staffing, so while I also staff student employees, I help with the staffing of other individuals. So um, the scoreboard, the play cloth, um, the book, certain things like that that are done by people in the community that have been trained to do those types of things. So those, um, we do have some students that do those positions, but a lot of them are other individuals that have been doing them for a long time. Um, crowd control is kind of my responsibility during the event. Um, so kicking out you guys when you're getting rowdy. Um, it's kind of something that I've taken on. I know a lot of the students here have called me a fun sucker when I've had to tell them that they can't do stuff. But that's just part of my job. And then postseason championships is another big aspect of the event management stuff that I do. Um, so my daily responsibilities, I'm going to try to break this down as easy as I can. Um, for those of you that have never been around me, I know Thomas works for me, so he knows that I'm never doing the same thing ever. Um, so I don't really have kind of a day-to-day -day routine. In the mornings, I try to answer my emails because I always have a thousand, so that's kind of one thing that's consistent, but other than that, my days are really completely different every single day. Um, so I've kind of broken it down for the event management side of what I do. The day prior to an event is kind of what I like to say preparation. Um, now most of you know we have 20 sports programs at the athletic department, so I kind of do the event operations and fan engagement piece for all 20 sport programs. Um, I work every single home athletic event, so I'm here literally all the time. Um, from September to May, I work every single weekend. We usually host football playoffs on the weekend of Thanksgiving, so for those of you that are looking into this, it's a huge responsibility and a lot of time commitment in that sense. Um, so in prepar preparing for an event, I do a lot of that in the summer um, because especially this week we have six events at home, so I don't have days to prepare for each one. Um, staffing and scheduling is one of the big things that I do um, for especially our student staff. So a lot of the hiring takes place in the summer and then I try to get a schedule out a month in advance so that our students are able to prepare their work schedules. Um, this position, unlike other positions on campus, you never have a set schedule. So a lot of our students will work, you know, I'll work Wednesday this week, Saturday next week, um, Tuesday and Monday the next week. So it really varies that way on um, a lot of nights and weekends. So Working with student schedules is kind of hard for me um, in a sense that I have to work with so many different schedules for a lot of different events. Um, then visiting team coordination, I kind of already touched on that. I will work on creating a sheet of what to expect when you come to Whitewater. Where's our lodging? What kind of restaurants do we have? Um, 
again, like I said, what door you go in, what locker room you'll be in, is it secure, all those types of little things that visiting teams might not know when they're coming on campus. Um, and then equi equipment setup and testing is a huge part of my job because we do have so many different scoreboard systems and video board systems. Um, for me, coming on campus, learning all those different operations was a lot to learn all at once. Um, and as, I don't know if any of you were at the football game on Saturday, but our scoreboard wasn't working. So that was fun because we had a storm on Thursday. Um, so a lot of my job is testing that equipment, but then again, we tested everything on Thursday, worked perfectly, and come in to work on Friday and nothing's working. Um, so a lot of troubleshooting is what I do on a daily basis, kind of depending on what comes up here and there. Um, so then the day of an event is kind of the production, or what I like to say. So um, on event days, I usually get here at 9 in the morning and won't leave before 9 at night. Um, a lot of the morning is kind of preparing. I like to prepare everything the day before, especially to make sure I have all the equipment out when we're going to the event. Um, so setup takedown, all of the setup for each sport is completely different. Um, so I have to know a lot of different things. How many towels were required to give the visiting team? How many towels we need to put on each bench? So there's a lot of different pieces that go into um, the equipment setup. Um, and then event staffing is another big thing. Um, especially working with students, there's always things that come up and then I have to be prepared for if someone doesn't show up to the event or if they switch last minute and then kind of troubleshoot that way. Um, greeting the visiting teams and officials are, is a big piece. A lot of them will come on campus and then have requests like they need a classroom. So for example, we host a lot of events on Wednesday nights, which is a big night class day. So if a visiting team comes here and wants a classroom, then it's my job to kind of find where they can fit in. Um, and then crowd control is during the event. Um, so my philosophy is kind of to prepare for the worst and hope for the, hope for the best. Obviously, a lot of the different um, events on campus and things that happen during an event you can't really prepare for, um, but we're hopefully having the policies and procedures in place so that if something does happen, um, myself and other people working in the event kind of know what, where to go from there. Um, so a lot of my summer is doing emergency protocols, um, making sure we have systems in place for a lot of different things. Um, I like to tell people that if you don't notice I'm working in an event, that's a good thing. Because if I'm running around trying to troubleshoot things, that means that things are not running smoothly. So a lot of my duties go before an event, and then hopefully during the event I don't have as much to do. Um, but since we have such great athletic teams, there's always a lot of stuff that goes on during the events as well. Um, and then my day after is kind of evaluating, evaluating an event. So especially after we had our first home football game this past weekend, today's kind of been all about evaluation, what we can do better, what went well, um, what types of things we need to change and um, moving forward and that type of stuff. So um, that's kind of our first thing. I know we do a lot of that during an event. I usually don't even watch any of our teams compete because I'm always so busy during events. Um, so kind of during, especially during the football game, I was already kind of evaluating what we need to change before the next game. Um, and then we do a lot of reconciliation. So for example, this past weekend, I think we had six different cash boxes going. So we have to count up everything and make sure that we're all on task with our bottom line and that type of stuff. Um, and cleanup is a big thing. During an event, we don't really worry about cleanup. We kind of just leave it all for the next day. So that's been my Monday is reorganizing our desk, my desk and all of our equipment and that type of stuff. Um, and then we begin preparing for the next event. So that's kind of a day in the life. I don't know if anyone has questions about that aspect of my job right now. No, we can ask some questions at the end too. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else I want to add for event operations. I know Joe does all the football events and I do all the other home events. So there's a lot of different stuff to learn. Um, especially before an event is kind of the big piece for to kind of get everything started, especially for football and basketball. We do a lot of other types of fan engaging uh, event atmosphere creation type of stuff. So there, there's a lot of different moving pieces in the beginning of an event and it's my job to make sure that nothing goes wrong. So there's a lot of different things that could go wrong, a lot of moving pieces, um, and hopefully no one notices. So um, student employment is another big thing, so I'm responsible for the hiring, um, payroll, that type of stuff with HR, and then training, scheduling, and evaluating. Um, student employment takes up a big portion of my day. Um, so for when I got here, we didn't really have a lot of these systems in place. 
So I had to develop a lot of the different position descriptions, um, job posting, interview questions, um, selection processes, and then the termination process. Um, unfortunately, I've had to fire a couple people, so I've had to have some of those difficult conversations, especially with fans and students. Um, so that's another part of my job that isn't very rewarding, but um, it's also something that comes with the job. So hiring is a big part of um, that, and it's, it's always hard to see what types of students are going to fit where. Um, like I said, our job is kind of, or my job is kind of very sporadic, a lot of different parts that go into it. So, um, um, I don't remember, but anyway, um, for the payroll and budget piece, that's a huge thing. Um, there's always students that aren't clocking in or aren't clocking out, um, and kind of making sure that there's no fraud with that. Um, we have a lot of different pieces with that because there's so many paper, so much paperwork that students fill out right when they come on campus, um, and then it takes a couple weeks to get processed. So students aren't allowed to begin working until their um, payroll has gone through and that type of stuff. I do you remember what I was going to say? So with training, um, I've kind of started to establish a training procedure. So there's a lot of different areas, a lot of different jobs for each sport. So training is kind of hard for our students because you're never really doing the same thing. You're always doing something different. Um, for example, I staff the admissions, um, <coughs> kind of the security gate, um, and then some of the operations pieces. Um, so there's a lot of different places that students kind of slide in and are huge parts um, crucial to our operations. So training has been um, kind of a struggle in the past, but we're working to establish new procedures so that students are all prepared for all the different things that can happen. Um, especially working admissions, those are usually the people that, or the students that people come to campus and see the first like face that they see when they come on campus. So they, you get a lot of different questions um, that you can never be prepared for. Um, so there's a lot of different areas that we have to know a lot about what's going on on campus, especially if it doesn't affect an athletic event. Um, and then scheduling is something that's always been fun. I know I accidentally scheduled Emily an hour before she was supposed to be there yesterday. Um, so there's a lot of, especially this week, I said we had six events, so there's six different schedules that are going out this week um, that all have different times, different positions, um, to know a lot of different things. And then evaluations, so we do a lot of different evaluations to kind of better our event, better our operations. Um, so doing peer evaluations, supervisory evaluations, in-person, online, anonymous. Um, we kind of try to hit it from every angle so that we're getting the best feedback possible. So the other part of my job is fan engagement. I know some of you have already heard about this. Um, the nice thing about being in event operations and fan engagement is a lot of the positions overlap. So there's a lot of different moving parts that go into fan engagement that also go into event operations. Um, it's a lot of different pieces as well, but um, it all meshes well together. So my main tasks for fan engagement are creating awareness, increasing attendance, and enhancing the fan experience. Um, so everything I do for fan engagement kind of revolves around those three pieces. Um, our main focus this year has been campus engagement um, and community outreach. So kind of getting people on campus and in the community to know that our events are going on and hopefully that they will be attending those events. Um, as far as the fan experience, in-game promotions has been huge for us. Um, there's a lot of different rules I have to know with NCAA and WIC compliance that kind of fall under in-game promotions because there's so many different things that you can and cannot do. Um, but we're always trying to spice it up and make our events more engaging. Um, special events is huge for us. I'll go into those in more detail. Um, but we kind of like to do a special event around events to hopefully get more people that wouldn't normally come to an event to come. Um, another thing I do is the creation of promotional materials. So I work really closely with our director of athletic communications to um, develop those promotional materials. We both kind of direct a student graphic designer um, and help in getting the awareness out that way. Another small piece of my job is corporate sponsorships. I'll go into that a little bit at the end. Um, I do a lot of the lower level corporate sponsorships that kind of go around event production and in-game promotions and that type of stuff. Um, ticket operations kind of goes hand in hand with community outreach. Um, that's another thing that overlaps with event operations a lot since I'm in charge of admissions for a lot of the different sports other than football and basketball. Um, so reaching out to groups and getting um, other people to come on campus that way. 
And then social networking um, is something that I was in charge of a couple of years ago, and um, I help here and there if it involves fan engagement. But otherwise, that's a huge piece. Um, as all of you know, you guys are college students, so you're always on social media. Um, for us, we obviously, like I said, don't really work nine to five. Um, and social networking has a lot to do with that because a lot of our users will be using social media at 9 p.m. And that's when we need to post our um, information. Um, so fan engagement, my, our goals and object objectives are to create a positive image of the athletic department. Um, a lot of the different strategies we use are direct marketing tactics um, and then helping build relationships and establish those connections across campus and the community that they so. Um, these are kind of the four areas that we break out our fan engagement into um, that we kind of focus on. So our first is campus engagement, which is obviously internal. Um, I know someone in the last class had asked about how we direct our marketing to on-campus and off-campus students, and that's something that we've really been working on this year with the um, reestablishment of Purple Rain. <laughs> um, so that's um, a big piece that we're trying to engage more of our students, encourage participation, encourage them to attend the events, and then um, hopefully continue coming back and supporting the athletes that way. Um, another piece that we're starting to focus on this year is our student athlete engagement. So we have student, 700 student athletes on campus between our 20 sports programs. Um, so we're with our new um, Warhawk Leadership Academy in the athletic department. We're trying to get more student athletes engaged and create that culture um, where there's more inner department support that way. Um, and then external to the areas that we really focus on are the alumni relations. Um, hopefully when students graduate, they're coming back on campus and still supporting our department. And then community outreach. Um, so we have a lot of different community outreach initiatives going on right now. I know Whitewater is not a huge town, especially when you take away the university, um, but trying to get those different um, groups to support uh, the athletic department that way. Um, one thing that we relaunched this year is the Warhawk Kids Club, so hopefully getting more kids to come to our events, interact with our student athletes, um, and kind of build those relationships that way. Um, so promotional materials is something that we've been working on a lot um, in the past couple of years. So traditional marketing is one of the areas that we really focus on. Um, we don't have a huge budget, as I mentioned, I haven't mentioned that today, but I mentioned that a lot last time. Um, so we do a lot of stuff that we can um, in the most inexpensive and most convenient ways while also being high impact. Um, so traditional marketing, some of those types of things are our posters that we do, um, pocket schedules, different newspaper print, that type of stuff. Um, a lot of the people that, or a lot of the coverage you see of our athletic department is kind of free coverage, so we don't pay to have ads in newspapers and stuff. We just, there's a lot of um, local newspapers that cover us, which is nice. Um, grassroots marketing is one of our biggest strategies on campus, so hopefully getting students to talk about it. Um, word of mouth, I guess, is kind of the biggest area with that. Um, we hope that all of our athletes are ambassadors of our department, and hopefully a lot of the other people that work with our department and have been coming to events and that type of stuff can help spread the word and get more people to our events that way. Um, online marketing is huge for us because it is very inexpensive and it's convenient. Um, so our website is our biggest marketing tool. We're, re we're relaunching a new website on October 5th, so there will be a much um, different look, which is really exciting for us. Um, it'll be really convenient, hopefully allow more um, user-friendly and um, get more clicks that way. So our website is going to have a lot of the different athletic events that are upcoming on the top, so that's kind of the first thing you see when you access the site. Um, instead of reporting on the past. So that's going to be huge for us and that people are always looking ahead and not looking backwards. Um, email blasts are something that we use a lot to get out to our campers, alumni, um, Purple Rain, different support groups that way. Um, and then online publications. We used to have a newspaper called Warhawk Monthly that would go out, um, different human interest stories, upcoming events, that type of stuff. And then social media is really our biggest um, um, online marketing tool, especially getting out to the college age dem demographic um, and kind of being that type of plug that we can send out stuff um, easy, quick, just like that. Um, so promotions are kind of something that I've really focused on the past couple years that I've been here. Um, we're hopefully starting to create an exciting atmosphere, creating an incentive for people to start attending events, 
um, and getting people engaged that way. So we have an awesome Purple Rain intern who's been doing a really great job this year. Um, we've already had a lot more um, success with our program than we've had in the past, so that's a really exciting um, start to our year. Um, we do a lot of different special events with Purple Rain, so a student appreciation night, um, upcoming events like that, a pregame tailgate, um, things like that to hopefully get students to want to attend events with free giveaways, um, those type of things. So this program development has kind of been our biggest strength um, in getting things organized and getting students to kind of know where to go if they want to be involved. Um, we do a lot of different pregame activities. We've done youth nights, um, different types of programming, special events like that. A lot of cause marketing, so breast cancer awareness. Um, what else we've done? We do a lot of different things to try to get more people to our events that wouldn't normally come. Um, so that's been huge for us in continuing to have an event surrounding an event. Um, and then in-game contests are kind of, I know I touched on those, that they're difficult to do. Um, obviously you see a lot of them at basketball and football. Um, but we're hopefully going to be doing more of those in the future to kind of get students engaged. Um, and then we have a lot of sponsors that like to be involved that way as it gets their name out there. Um, so corporate sponsorships are kind of the last piece of my responsibilities. Um, a lot of this, I know I talked in the last class, I don't do a ton of corporate sponsorships. I do a lot of the lower level corporate sponsorships. So um, things like Subway, Culver's, um, kind of those pre-existing relationships of local businesses that want to support the campus and want to get their name out to college students. Um, so a lot of the corporate sponsorships that we do, there's obviously this process of developing corporate sponsorships with the building a relationship, um, identifying the needs of the sponsor and what, what we can provide. So what our inventory is, um, how we can match those relationships together. Um, and then there's a lot of different financial implications that obviously is the biggest piece of the corporate sponsorship puzzle. Um, so kind of getting all of the different sponsors um, to provide us what we can use in return for their um, money or different things that they donate. So we do a lot of in-kind trade um, where they'll provide food for a student tailgate or a prize for a large event, um, things like that. Um, and then securing those sponsorships. Luckily, when I came in here, a lot of our sponsorships were already secured. So um, I kind of worked with continuing to build those different relationships. Um, Jersey Mike's is something that we might be doing in the future um, with new businesses that kind of want to get involved in the athletic department. Um, so as, since all of this was kind of established before I got here, um, the relationship management is something that I've played a huge role in, um, especially with our sponsors that have been here for a while and want to continue to be involved and want to evolve their sponsorship, keep it the same, those types of things. Um, and then contract fulfillment is really the biggest piece of my job right now. So proving that we've done what we've stated in the contract that we'll do. Um, there's a lot of different PA announcements, video board recognition, um, in-game promotions, those types of things are kind of everything that I touch um, with proof of performance and contract fulfillment. Um, so that's kind of all I have about my job. Sorry I jump around a lot because I have so many different things to do, it's hard to kind of nail down um, all of the responsibilities that I have. Um, if you ever see me, any, see me at an event, I'm probably running around um, trying to get everything moving. Um, so I have, like I said, 45 student employees. Um, we're always hiring and there's a lot of different opportunities to get involved. Um, one good thing that I have so many different responsibilities is that you get a lot of hands-on experience um, and a lot of limited supervision and that type of stuff. So it's kind of um, those students that are taking initiative and really making their employment opportunity their own. Um, you can get a lot out of it if you really want um, to get that type of experience in college athletics. So we have um, marketing internships available and um, event management opportunities. So those are kind of working all the events, um, admissions, security, ball shaking, those types of, those types of things. Um, and then the marketing is kind of in-game promotions, special event creation, Purple Rain, Kids Club those types of things. Um, all of our employment opportunities, we have a lot of different options. So there's paid positions, there's um, positions for credit, practicum experience, um, 12 credit internships. We have a lot of different opportunities for whatever you all are interested in. So I have my business cards here. If anyone is interested, I'd be happy to talk about different opportunities that there are. Anyone have any questions?
On average, like how many hours a week do you say you'd work? <laughs> um, probably 60-ish. It depends um, on how many events we have. So in the summer, my summers are way more relaxed. It's typically like a nine to five. Um, but during the year, I'll, I'll take off when I can. I've worked the whole entire month of September with the events and stuff. Um, so it's not like, oh, I want to go on vacation today. I'm going to take off. We don't really have that flexibility. Um, but I, I love what I do. I get to work around sports and student, college students every day. It's a really rewarding job. Um, but there's a lot to that goes into it. Yes, you're free to go. <laughs>